going to be doing soft pastel painting. I got my soft pastels all out. I also have my blending sticks. They're just rolled paper. And you get those at any art supply store. I also have paper towels. And I can do a little blending with that. Or I can also keep my fingers clean. So let's get started with the painting. I'm going to do something where we've got lots of clouds and that. Now when you're doing either a watercolor, soft pastels and that, even though you can add white, I do have white here, um, you generally will use the white of the paper as much as possible. Let's get started with the sky. I've got a deeper blue. I'm going to start over in the corner. Kind of darken that a little bit. Just kind of blend that in. And then I'm going to kind of map out a little bit of where my clouds are going to be, sort of. Maybe, maybe something like that. And bring that color down. The same here, maybe over here. The clouds. Over here. And I'm using the side of the chalk. I'm just doing it lightly. We can always darken as we go along. And I'm just using my fingers to kind of blend. And I'm blending further out than what I actually have. On here, I'm making sure I'm trying to keep the top of the clouds a little fluffy. Now I'm using the whole paper right here, but I do have a mat that's going to go over it and it will cover more or less inside a little more. So I'm not too worried about the corners or the edges a little bit. But. Then I'm going to take some of this blue and just drag it down in here. It'll be down at the base of the clouds. And you can even take your chalk and do a little blending from there. And I'm keeping this light. I'm going to take my paper towel, sort of make a corner, and do some more blending. And I'm pushing fairly, fairly hard. I'm not scrubbing, scrubbing, but I'm, I am using a firm stroke. Now let's, I'm going to try a little bit lighter blue and some, a little bit of different not doing it everywhere. I want to keep it darker towards the edges, but just give it a few extra colors as the light changes. Maybe, maybe in here a little bit. Let's try a little bit of the pinks, maybe down here at the horizon. We've got some of the pinks coming in. A little over here. And as they mix with the blues, of course, you're going to get a little bit into the lavenders. We can even add a touch of lavender or your purples at the base of the clouds. 
Maybe some of those clouds had a little bit of rain still left in them. You can always go in and darken any of this area. Now I'm going to take my whites and right at the tops, scrub that in. Bring it down. And most of it is the white of the paper. This I'm using more or less as a blender between the different colors. And now that I have that in there, I'm gonna go back in, do a medium blue a little bit here, and mix it in with some of the whites. A little bit of the lavender here. Just playing with a little bit of color and see how I'm bringing it up into where I put some of the whites so that the base of the clouds are. And then I'm gonna come up. And I am going into the clouds a little bit. You can see a little bit of the blue coming up in here but I'm trying to leave as much of the white as I can. And I can even bring over top of here, maybe a little cloud drifting out there and you can barely see it, it's just fading out. And the same thing over here, maybe, maybe a little bit of the blue. And I'm not pushing hard when I add the color, I'm just lightly back to some of the blues here on the bottom. Okay, I'm just cleaning my fingers a little bit. And I'm gonna kind of blend along the tops. And I can even right in here drag some of that color. Out. In here. You can see how you can even bring some in. But if you notice, this is not going to be as bright as up in here where you left the white of the paper. So even though you can still add the white, it's not going to be anywhere near as bright. Looks like maybe. There's the thin, wispy cloud there. All right, let's put let's let's do some mountains. Maybe. And you don't want them all the same height. You want to vary them. So I'm just gonna easily. Kind of smudge that line. I don't want to lose the line. All right, now that we have our tops, let's work. You decide which side the lights come in. Come in this way, come in this way. Usually, if you're painting, it's always easier to drag your strokes this way. With the pastels, you can do either or. It just, but we'll drag that out there. And this one. And let's get a little more. And then you decide, does this one come in front of this one? Does it go behind it? We're going to push it right behind. Make this one forward. But this is your painting. This is your project. You decide. If you want this one forward, you would have brought 
the lighter colors out this way. Alright, let's go in. I'm gonna take oh let's see. A pale blue. Let's get a paler blue. Let's see, I like this one here. I like this color. And I'm just very lightly adding a little bit here. Then I'm gonna come in with the whites. This side is and then back to my little bit of the lavender coming streaking through here. And I want this light. I don't want completely white. I do want it lighter. So we have a shadow side and a lighter side here. And we can even take some of the blues over in this side down towards the base. It's the light plays in there. Get a little in here. And then we're going to kind of join those two together by just almost a U shape. side basic white and then just a little very lightly I want a little color in here but I don't want a lot I want a misted area so it's not basic just plain white but it is very light almost if there's a misc Climbing up the mountains. Once we get it all in, we can go in and darken the skies and darken any areas that we think we need to darken. So now I'm just gonna kind of clean my fingers a little bit. I'm gonna go into some bluish green. And right here, I'm gonna do a tree line. And it's kind of stuck in the mist, so you're not going to see details. It's just sort of basic shapes. I even have some going up the mountain a little bit. Here's some way back, so they're even smaller. And then up here we can do a little bit. I'll leave that misty area in there, but we're gonna bring some taller ones. So. So you see how you got that little separator, that little misty color in there. Down here, we're even going to bring some taller, maybe even do a little bit of, and these are going to be a little darker. We're even going to do a little, a few of them that actually look like trees. And if you're, you want, you can even use your small blender a little bit. And that's fine if you're more comfortable with that. But I'm very lightly just sort of fading them out. So oh, here's a taller one here. 
A little evergreen forest. There's a, another one in here. You don't need them all along. You just need a few. You know, it gives you the idea that, yeah, there's trees in here. And then here, I'm gonna do the same thing. We got a taller one here. I mean, I'm going to do a little heavier line in the center. Right here. Give it a little better top. Bring that out a little wider. I've got several size blenders and that seems to work. Yeah, that one works a little better. And then maybe a hair. And these are basically a little bit darker. Put as many or as little few trees in as you want. A little bit of land underneath. You just kind of pull up a little bit, maybe some grasses or something here. And here, we'll just kind of join these two areas. Maybe some grassy areas or something in here. Over here, maybe there's one there. A little wider on the bottom, maybe one right there. And we'll use our blending stick. These are a little closer, they're darker, so we're not gonna blend them out as much. And you can bring that hill down. We got a nice forest there. Take a look around. Maybe this one needs a little more. Maybe another little one here. Just see where you think you need them. Then I'm gonna bring some of this. And watch the contours. If I bring it down like this, it brings the land down in, almost like there's a little valley in here. If you want it straighter, you know, flat land, you want to keep your lines a little straighter. And let's go in. We're going to do a little bit of lighter green. Add some, maybe some sun coming in. Picking up some more lights here. Same thing over here. even lighter. There's some light singing through there. Basically we're just trying to get the cover the paper right now. You can see the different colors. All right and then let's go back to our medium. And even throw a few shadow colors down the bottom and the color on corners. Oh, let's go over there, maybe. 
You got something growing here. Maybe, oh, let's see. How about right here? We got a big evergreen. Keep it small up at top. You can always make it larger as, if you need to. And it's going back and forth. And this one, I'm going to take some of the lighter green. Both sides, but mostly on this side. I'm going to add the lighter since the light's coming from that way. You can even take a touch, touch of the yellow, just in spots to lighten it up. But shadow underneath that way it comes across you can even there we go and I think we lost our top we'll just put that back in so we got a nice big tree and you can see the different layers as we come forward some darker colors up here. So we got our mountains, we got our evergreens. And look at your picture, stand back. Maybe here we got a little lake coming through. Maybe we have a stream. Um, possibly uh, you can have some, even some rocks and, and things out there. So you look at your picture, you see what you, you know, everyone's gonna be a little different. Maybe. And let's take the little one. So this is just a little, a little trickle down from the mountains. I mean, we're gonna take a little bit of the white. And I'll lighten it up a little bit. Now that it comes down here, it's going to get a little wider. And maybe. Oh. We'll have a little. here. I know you can't see anything right now. We're going to take our blues and put some shadows in. And it looks like the water is kind of bubbling. And then our blender. through here, it goes, and we can even darken some areas here. very lightly. And this would just kind of create some splashes. And even in here we can add a little mist. And now I'm going to, oh, where's my black? Black. Yeah. 
some stones, something to hold that water, and that caused it to some browns. some rocks here. Maybe we'll do it over here where we can follow the stream a little bit. Basic little little stream. Go back with some greens. Maybe something's growing over here along the banks. Maybe here we got some taller reeds coming up. We'll put some cattails on the top. some paler blues. Bring some of that darker blues in here. Tie them all in. In here we can even do a little bit of the pretty good. I need to bring a little browns in here occasionally. Not much, just... All right, and let's see what else we need. How about, how about some kind of bush over here? Some weeds. Even going with some yellows. And some lighter browns. And let's set those down. A little shadow color. some color at that. Just a touch of the reds. Maybe some type of flowering bush or something that's got a little red tinge to it. And there's my darker greens here. And over here. in there. Something growing along here. So we got a decent painting here. Stand back, take a look. Do we need another tree? Maybe. Um, maybe a fence line. Maybe. Maybe here. 
the end of fence. And as they get closer, they're, of course, they're going to get a little wider a little bit. Thicker. And I'm going to take some of my whites on one side. And then my blender. Blend them. I'm going to drag the browns over on the white. I don't want a white fence. Okay. I'm going to go in and darken a little bit more if I need to. behind it and then now on the bottom we'll set them down with some grass and where's my black I'm just gonna put a little bit of wire coming Just gonna lightly go follow that line. So I got a nice fence line here. Add something to it. Let's go over here. Maybe add some grasses. in this area. Maybe there's a stone. A little bit of lighter. And let's get some grasses around it. Set that down. And even take some of the white and kind of hit the top for a little highlight. I think we got a pretty good painting going here. Um, I do have some pencil, which you can make thinner lines and stuff if you want to pull up some grasses. But I think we're just going to put a couple birds up in the sky flying in. There's one, two. Oh, let's give him a third one way back. He's following way behind. And we're going to sign this and call it finished. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I have a couple different mats. This one is a nice white one. It covers a smaller area. I have this another. mat is a larger opening in the center. And of course, be in the darker color. You decide what you like when you match your paintings.